Hey guys, this is part 3 on, on how to make a first person shooter game using Unity and this is the third video of my um, episodes that I'm making of how to make a first person shooter and I hope this video will help. Um, this is a special episode because we are finally entering the scripting and animation world in first person shooter. I hope you watched my first and second video but if you're not a beginner. If you're a beginner, I uh, recommend you watching them. Now, uh, we're going to get through a lot of things in this video. First of all, we're going to get through animation, making animations for player movement, like walking, jumping, sprinting, crouching, etc. And uh, what else? So I'm going to guide you through what you need to download for this video first. So first of all, you have to download this script I made. It's called Animation Setup. It's basically, uh, we're going to set up animations with them and when a key is pressed uh, to play an animation at a certain time and yeah basically that's it for now you need to download that and let's get started so first off I'm going to introduce you to animation so uh, we're going to create a simple animation for player movement we're going to focus on walking right now so uh, for you might have noticed the hand right there uh, it is much different than the one in the previous videos I will have it in the link in the description below. It's called the CSS of uh, Counter Strike Source um, hand model. Uh, so it's probably, uh, you can just download the link in the description below, and I recommend using it because it looks much better. Uh, other than that, if you like the old one, keep it. Anyway, uh, so we're gonna create a simple walking animation now. So first of all, to create an animation, we have to go to Window Animation. So this box will pop up right here, as you can see. This is the box where we're basically going to create and edit our animations. Make sure you have everything set up like I showed you in the last video, like the gun in the hand parented to the uh, camera, so uh, and the camera to the first person controller, of course. So once you've got that, we are going to make an animation. So uh, once you have this box, we'll go into Window Animation, uh, you this box, and then we're going to create a new clip, so right here, you click on create new clip. So let's just put walk animation 2. So remember the name, and you can copy paste it, or just it'll just show up in the project view anyway. So uh, click save, and as you can see, it's a blank animation right here. So how we're going to start the animation, we're going to click this little um, recording circle and once we click that basically we can uh, create our animation from here on so uh, we are going to I'm gonna start by dragging the gun upward and uh, there we go as you can see we made a little point there now all these points are basically frames in our animation so we're gonna create uh, um, some frames for an animation to be played so let's make another frame at the half point and another frame at the full one point. Uh, then let's go on, but this time let's go down. So I'm not going to really create the, a really extensive walking animation right now. I'm just going to show you the basics of how to make one. So as you can see, we have created an animation right now. And once we click the play button, you can see the gun moving up and down. So we have just created an animation right now. So once you created an animation clip, uh, um, a walking animation clip, we're going to go to second level. So we're going to actually program it when you click W or whatever um, button you choose for it to go for the player to go forward to actually play this animation. So I'm going to show you my animation I made for uh, walking. Um, just, uh, there we go. So that's a simple animation I made there for walking. Uh, it's a little better than the one I did before, but uh, anyway, since you once you have a decent animation, uh, we're gonna program it using scripting for when to the animation is to be used. So make sure you have downloaded animation setup, and once you've got that, um, open it up and copy the script. Now we're gonna create a new script. Uh, create JavaScript. So once you create a JavaScript, just name it. Walking um, script. So once you have walking script, open it up. There you go. So just delete all the stuff that it starts with and paste the script that you have copied. So uh, when you start with function update and 
So the R, the, this R and the reload and this reload right here, this is basically you just erase this. This is just for example. Um, so once you erase these, uh, these are basically where it's going to go. So um, I programmed uh, first person control usually the W used to go forward. So I want the W to go forward. So uh, the, basically if input get key down is what key you want. Um, when you press what key this animation is to be played. So I want in this case W. So when you press W, I want the walking animation to be played. So in this space, the um, the name of your animation will go and make sure it is the exact same and uh, name of your animation. So mine is called walking animation animation walking animation. And we let me just space it. So the walking animation, uh, and it stops all other animations as it is playing. So the animation play walking and do the same thing and type the name of your animation in these brackets. We'll let's start with reload. Just delete reload and type in the name of your animation. So so walking animation. So uh, just click the save button and close it. Now, once you've got that, uh, drag in walking script um, into the M4A3 or whatever gun you chose or, you know, whatever the hand and the gun is parented to. So once we've got that, we are going to play mode. And let's go to play mode. Let's press W. And there you go. As you can see, the animation plays once, but you want it to play several times. See, once you press W, it played once. So uh, we're going to fix that, so close that, and uh, we're going to click on the animation, the project view, so walking animation, or whatever animation, uh, and we, once you see wrap mode, make sure that is loop. So once you got loop, enter play mode, and there, as you can see, the animation uh, plays more than once, it just keeps on going, and yeah. So we're going to make a jumping animation right now. We're going to set up just the same way we set up the walking one. So click on that and window animation. So let's create a new clip. Uh, jumping. So let's record it. There we go. So let's see how it is. That is, let's spread it out a little. Okay, so there we go. Uh, we got a little symbol there, jumping animation. Okay, so once we've got that, let's um, script it. So let me save jumping. So let's create a new JavaScript. Um, create JavaScript and paste, uh, let's put jumping, jumping, sorry, screw it, uh, or whatever you want to name it, open it, and paste the script, the animation setup script. So let's replace these with jumping, so in this case, space, um, and what was it called? And uh, open the animation, uh, click on M43, so jumping, so jumping animation, and replace that with whatever it's called, whatever your animation is called. So let's save it, close it, and drag the script that you've just made, uh, jumping script. I'm a little, um, not, I'm not very organized as you can see. So yeah, there we go. And, uh, yeah. So now I'm going to show you guys how it looks. So as you can see, that's my jumping animation. That's my walking animation. And, uh, if you followed the steps properly and carefully, especially in the scripting, uh, you basically have something like this. 
So yeah, um, perfectly working. So thanks for watching this video. This was part 3 on how to make a first person shooter game using Unity. This was a special episode because it is about animation and it will probably be um, my last episode on animation because basically if you know the concepts of how to animate and use um, them using scripting, uh, you won't have any trouble making animations. Now if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them. Uh, I'll be getting on tutorial 4 soon and that will uh, that will be about um, how to make a gun actually shoot. Um, so I might make another video on animation just for the people that are having trouble with it, uh, just to simplify it. But if you aren't having trouble, then you're ready for the next step and actually develop your game. And um, eventually we'll get into GUI and the menus and loading Beat and everything time. like that. Um, but for now, the next episode will be of how to make your gun actually shoot. So if you're not already subscribed, then well, subscribe and follow my channel for more videos. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching this video. See you next time.